What's what's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, telling I can tell y'all is. Now I'm gonna tell y'all this because I sat here for the longest, and I'm gonna tell you this. I did a video about Michael Brown. I mentioned several other people. Uh, Sarah Kuzan, Satoya Brown, Trayvon Martin. Why do these people have something in common? Because they got screwed over. And, and, and check this out. How come? How come the me? I'm starting to pick up and notice about how people are people up in Ferguson, Missouri. People up in Ferguson, Missouri, are now looking at the media, calling them lies and stuff. Y'all now just noticing that? Didn't I just say that in my last video? Didn't I just say? The media has been lying to y'all about what happened to that boy, that Michael Brown boy. Didn't I just tell y'all that? Y'all act like I ain't said a word. Boy got shot. Boy got shot and killed. Nobody even knew that that video that they released, that was leased to the media about him, they say it was him in that store. That, was, that's, that video was done back in June. Nobody know. The video was done back in June. They just didn't show you the damn stamp. What you mean, stamp afro? Every video, you going to a convenience store. Don't be playing dumb. Don't play dumb. Every convenience store has them video camera system. And when they record, once they hit that record button, it stamps the video the day, the time. The date the time. It means it can be September 15, 2016 at 2.30 in the morning. Pink, yeah, 2.30 2 in the morning, a.m. As time stamp. When they show that video, they ain't show no time stamp. They show some good dude grabbing that boy, grabbing that clerk. And the second thing is, he paid for the, he say, um, robbery. I ain't seen no gun. I didn't see. I saw the video myself. I didn't see no gun. How come I ain't seen no gun if it was armed robbery? How come I seen that? Seen the person walk up to the counter and pay for them cigars and walk out? How come? How come that boy? How come some of the people called on and saw that tape? It's like. The guy that supposed to took them cigars. No, like I said, they said not to take. They said the person that was supposed to stole them cigars was wearing Jordans, but Michael Brown was wearing flip flops, and they questioned how did he change clothes so fast? How did he change clothes so fast? The video, which that video was recorded back in June. Why aren't they showing it in August? That's the question. If the video, if that video, if that tape that was shown that he was supposed to be in that store was recorded in June, how come? How come? How come? If the tape was shown in June, how come they wait to the last minute to show it now? And they asked, nobody knew, nobody even fucking knew. The owner and his lawyer did a press conference. They asked about, they asked about uh, 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 Michael Brown. The owner said, I never seen him. He never came into my store. Nobody knew that. Nobody knew that. Come on. The damn store owner sat there and said he never seen Michael Brown in his store. Never seen the boy in his store now. Come on. You probably said, how you know? Hey, man, as long as you keep your ear to the ground and pay attention, man, you know what's up. 
I said that in that last video about Michael Brown getting killed. That last video, I said, watch, they're going to make uh, look like a criminal. Watch, the media's going to lie on that boy. Watch, they're going to make that boy look like Boo Boo the fucking fool. Watch. I kept saying in that video, I said they did the same damn thing to Trayvon Martin when he got shot and killed. When he got shot and killed, what did they do? Oh, he's a thug. He smoked weed. He got suspended three times. Da da da. The boy dead. When the boy got shot, don't you know he waited four damn hours? Then put a damn blanket. Not a, not a blanket, but a sheet over him. I bet y'all ain't know. Arrested nurse came up. To him and say, hey, and show they show his credentials. Say, hey, I'm arrested the nurse. Let me see if I can give him CPR. Don't you know? Tell they told him to get the fuck away. Come on, how come y'all ain't questioning this shit? How come y'all ain't sitting up here questioning this shit? They, it's funny how when they start the media starts showing you these videos, they never show you the timestamp. They never show the timestamp question the shit out of there. How come they don't never show the time step on them videos? Watch. Watch. Watch the news and there be some other murder. They don't never show you a time step. Or watch somebody rob a stone. There ain't no time step on it. They'll show a time step when they want to. But now y'all just waking up. Waking up. Oh, the media's been bullshitting. Media's been bullshitting. Yeah, they be bullshitting. Y'all sitting up there believing them. Y'all sitting up there believing what the fuck they saying. Believing what the fuck they saying. Like I said, they did the same thing to Trayvon Martin. When he got shot and killed by Zimmer, what y'all do? Y'all believe what the fuck that damn media said. Y'all believe everything they said about this boy. He's a criminal. He's this. He's that. He's this. He's that. Y'all believe everything that damn TV said. Same with Sir, same with Satoya Brown. Same with Sarah Clouson. Y'all believe the same damn thing, and it makes no damn sense that y'all sit up there and listen to and believe what the fuck this media saying. Whoa, but some of the people down in Ferguson are starting to wake the fuck up. Oh, the media's been, been lying. The media's been lying. Y'all just now noticing that. The owner sits there, for real, for real. If the owner's sitting up there saying it in the media, but the media hasn't shown that tape, about how that owner said, I never seen Michael Brown. He never came in my store. I never met him. Dead giveaway. Go find that damn tape. Go find that damn tape. It's funny when I mentioned about that lawsuit about Trayvon Martin's family suing the uh, the homeowner association down in Florida. Only one newspaper printed. It's funny a few people knew about it. A few people commented and knew about it. I did a video about it since Trayvon Martin failed to put a life insurance policy on him. I did that video and I said, okay, his family should sue the homeowners association, but only one newspaper printed. Nobody else knew about it. About like several people actually commented saying, I knew about it. I knew about it. It's funny, ain't it? Few people knew about that lawsuit. I wonder how many people knew that their owner said, I never met Michael Brown, he never came in my soul. And I said, that videotape, I said, you can't rely on that damn videotape for shit. Because I looked at that tape, I looked at the tape, at that video, when I looked at that video, I couldn't tell if it was Michael Brown or not. You can't tell, because it really doesn't give show facial features. All you see is skin color and what the hell they got on. All you see is like, uh, you don't see, it's, it's for real you don't see the detail in the person's face to know who that who that person is you see his color and the clothes he's wearing that's all you see I said that in the video I can't tell who that is I can't tell who that is you can but they quit to say it was my crime I said it's awfully funny it's awfully funny they shoot Michael Brown 
They shoot to kill him, but you leave other witnesses behind. It's all the fun, ain't it? You shoot, you shoot an innocent person, but you leave, you let the other witnesses go by. That don't make no sense for so fucking ever. Why would you shoot him and leave his friends to go back and tell them what they saw? That's the question. Why would you shoot them? Shoot him. Shoot him, but let his friends go and say, hey, man, that police shot the kill. Same with them people with them video cameras. I'm surprised the media didn't even ask the damn, uh, didn't even ask the public, hey, if you got the full video, send it in. Send it in. Think about it. Look it up. I bet that, I bet them videos are all up on YouTube. All up on YouTube. About him getting shot him get shot by the police like I said nobody knew about him not being in that store the tape that video wasn't really the video that they supposed to show because that video is an old video that they wanted to show oh he was in the store the owner since then told him himself to press the owner sat down with the press press conference with his lawyer saying I ain't seen Michael Brown a day in my life. He ain't been in my establishment. If you got an owner sitting there saying that this person ain't been in his establishment, that tells you that damn story was a lie from the get-go. I said, that damn owner is full of shit. I said, not the owner, but the media is full of shit. So that damn, uh, uh, so is that damn, uh, uh, uh police department. And I'm starting to notice a lot of people posting up about, uh, what's the name, uh, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and NAACP and the Black Panther. That is damn sure ain't the very folks that are bitching. It's the blacks. When I, you put it like, what? The blacks are bitching about Jesse Jackson, Al nah, Sharpton, NAACP and the Black Panther? Fuck you. I say, how come? They started bitching about it. And one guy say, Al, I saw one of them say, Al Sharpton doesn't speak for, my, for the black community. Neither does uh, neither does uh, Jesse Jackson. I said that and I look, and I paid it, and I looked and I said that and I started watch. I started paying attention. I said you got a point. I've seen videos ever since that Michael Brown incident. Ever since that Brown, the Michael Brown incident, other black people be getting killed. I ain't seen no NAACP. I ain't seen no Black Panthers. I ain't seen no Al Sharpton. I ain't seen none of them. I said, where was y'all? Oh, y'all was down in Florida. It's like, y'all was down in Florida. Where? Y'all was down in Florida. I said, y'all really didn't do much. Except for the Black Panthers saying, uh, we want Zimmer dead alive. You still see that motherfucker walking around. You still see him. That's a joke right there in, this, in the cell. It's a joke right in the cell. Where was y'all when shit was going on? Where was y'all? Hold on. The question is this. Where was y'all when this girl was getting raped and pimped out? Where was y'all at? Where was Jesse Jackson now, Sharpton and all them? Where was they at when this girl was getting molested, raped, and pimped out? as a prostitute, where was y'all at? Nowhere. Where was y'all at when the same damn thing happened to her? No damn well. No fucking well. These incidents happen. But y'all want to pick certain fucking stories. It's bullshit. But it's like this though. It's like this. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention. The reason why I say pay attention is this. Y'all need to quit believing what that media tells you. If the media tells you the sky is green, the grass is brutal, don't believe, don't give it into that hype bullshit. And oh, oh, they right, they right about that. They can say, man, my dog eats, eats cat shit and shit's gold. They can say that. I told you once before when the Trayvon Martin incident, 
That media will lie to you quick as hell. They will say shit to make you believe it. They will say anything because they don't the time they should give you the truth is that 15%. That 15% is the truth. The rest, that 85% is a whole bunch of bullshit lies. I'm telling you, go out there and find that tape of that owner saying, I ain't never seen Michael Brown in my life. I'm saying it. Go out there and find that tape. If you can find that tape of where that damn owner said, I ain't never seen this boy in my life. He never came to my store. And you post it up on YouTube. Post it up every fucking where so people know that boy got killed out of shit. I'm telling you. Do it. I'm telling you. I'm saying it. Go out there. Go out there. And if you can find that fucking video of that owner say, I ain't never met him. I ain't never seen him in my store. He never came in my store. If you can find that tape, that video, and upload it on YouTube, I bet you it will clear a lot of damn things up. And if you can find that person that said, hey, I'm going to rest the nurse. Let me see if I can give him CPR to help him. Just tell their side of the story. I bet you a lot of things will clear up. I bet you. I say it's like it. It's not. Y'all need to, like I said, you need to stop paying attention to the news, cause the news ain't gonna tell you shit. You need to start going to the horse and saying what's up. Like they say, get it from the horse's mouth. That's what y'all need to do. Get it from the horse's mouth. Because as long as you sit up there uh, and believe everything that per the media says, you ain't getting nowhere with that shit. And I'm telling that for a fact, Jack. Boy died for shit. Well, ain't at the stone. Didn't even steal. Didn't you hit one of it? We was walking home. We were walking across town to my house. That's all I heard. We walking to my house. Police came up and told us to get the fuck out the street. If he said it, and there's tape, if he said it, and a lot of other people said, hey, the police told him to get the fuck out the street, that'll tell you something. That officer has been bullshitting since day one when he killed that boy. I'm for real. He's, they've been bullshitting just to cover up, make that officer look like he could. See how they made Trayvon look like a fool? What happened when he got killed? What happened when he got killed? Zimmerman had a rap sheet longer than my motherfucking arm. Longer than my motherfucking arm. Oh, but Trayvon, Trayvon was a thug. He got in the fights. He got in the fights. He got in all these fights. He got suspended three times. His daddy couldn't deal with him. Check this out. What had me thinking. He was killed 70 feet from his daddy's house. Trayvon Martin. 70 feet from his daddy's house. And his daddy didn't hear gunshots. The boy's been dead for three days. Daddy, his, daddy, his parents didn't even see the damn police tape. When they finally went to the morgue and claimed his body after three days, because he sat in the morgue for three days as a John Doe. Knowing that some teenager his age is going to have some kind of identification on him. Some kind of identification. See what I'm saying? They went to claim his body after three days, don't you know? After they claimed his body, his body still sat there as a John Doe. I said, softly funny that you couldn't find his cell phone on his body. And now, now check this out. Check this out. They talked about he went to the store. They talked about Trayvon, Bar Trayvon Martin went to the store and, and went back, trying to go back home. Why did they wait a year? And two months to show that videotape of Trayvon Martin in that damn store. That's the question. Why didn't nobody question that? 
Why did they wait a year and two months to show that tape that he was in that store? Why did they? Why did they show? Why did they wait two uh, a year and two months to show that damn video? He was in that store. Ain't that some shit? And if you pay the attention to the whole, to the whole uh, Michael Brown, if you pay the attention, they say he stole them cigars. They say he stole the cigars. The police didn't know he stole the cigars, but he shot and killed. But then find out he knew he shot. He knew he robbed the store. Which is it? Did he rob or did not? You could tell the police was already lying. Because they sat there for the longest saying he he didn't know he robbed the store. But turned around, he shot and killed him. Then he knew he shot the store. You know what I mean? He say, first they said he, the police did not know that he robbed the store until he killed him. But when he killed him, that's when he knew he robbed that store. Ain't that kind of funny, right? That little flip-flop shit. They get away the police is bullshitting too. And look how and the and the mayor the mayor's full of shit too. The mayor went on national T V. I didn't know where all this was going down. Ninety what was it? Ninety three percent of blacks are getting tickets from the police. Ninety three percent of blacks in Ferguson, Missouri is be getting tickets. Ninety six percent ninety six percent of blacks are getting arrested in Ferguson, Missouri. The numbers don't lie, damn it. They're saying they're doing this. The reason why the numbers are so high is because the police want to get their fucking quota. Because the police want to get their quota. And I've been sitting up here for the longest telling people don't believe the fucking media. Don't believe the fucking media, and y'all believe in that fucking media like it's some shit. Like it's some shit. Now, I'm going to post a video in the description box, and I want y'all to check it out. And I'll tell you, like I said, if y'all can find the video of that owner saying, I ain't never seen Michael Brown in my life or in my store. And you post that shit on fucking YouTube and every motherfucking website there is, it will show, it will put a light on something that it will, it will blow everything, it will bring something, it will blow everything out the water and make that, it will show that that fucking police will shoot to kill. He said, he said he been on the police for four years. Motherfucker, you oughta know better. Then we just had that shit up in New York about a cop killing a black dude. Choked him out with a illegal chokehold. Now you turn around. Now that now that police up in New York is going going to jail for get murder. Now you turn around and shoot a damn eighteen year old. Damn fucking police are stupid as fuck. But like I said, man, go look for that tape. If I was y'all, I'd look for that tape and that wit that person that says, "Hey, man, I'm a the nurse. Let me see if I can get him CPR." And I bet you it would shed a little bit more light on the situation. I'll do it. If I, I'll do it. I'm giving y'all the fucking information. Don't believe what the media is because they're going to tell you shit. They're going to tell you some bullshit. But uh, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CLO Junior 2, CLO Junior 3. And tell me what you think. Alright? Peace, love, and Afro Breeze.